What is up you guys? It is your boy Brenton Biggers here and welcome to another video. And <coughs> um <coughs> and before we get in today's video, um if my throat does sound a little weird, it is because I feel like I'm getting pretty congested in my throat specifically. So um pretty stinks, but that's fine, but um and also, before we get today's video, like and subscribe. We're getting on the road to 450 subscribers. It also really help because again, my cough is pretty bad. But um, anyway, guys, enough said. Let's get into the video. So, and also one other quick note: I did make my Thursday night prediction already, which was the Broncos game winning, and I did upload that literally before the game even happened. So, just to let you guys know, and. Now we got the New England Patriots racing the Jacksonville Jaguars. By the time I'm recording this, Patriots are winning 10 to nothing. But I am still going with Jacksonville Jaguars because that was my initial prediction. So I'm just going to stick with that. But, hey, if New England wins, hey, whatever. I know I could technically change my prediction now, but I'm not going to do that because it's cheating. Now to the actual predictions. We got the Lions taking on the Minnesota Vikings. This is going to be a very interesting game because this is really going to prove which team is really the best team in that division. But to me, I think we're going to I think I'm going to pick Detroit Lions. I just don't think that the Vikings even though they did had an extra week to prepare for this game can beat the stud Lions offense as well as their stud defense. Then also during 12 o'clock, well, all the following games are 12 o'clock. We've got the Titans versus the Bills. I think this is a pretty obvious one. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills. I don't think it's really going to be that obvious. It's pretty obvious of which team is going to win here. Then we got another interesting matchup. we got the Miami Dolphins taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Two pretty at the moment mediocre teams, and you're trying to figure out which team is quote-unquote good. So... So this is going to be a pretty tough game, but if I had to imagine, I am going to go with the Indianapolis Colts here. They're just a good team, and I know Jonathan Taylor isn't expected to play this game, but still have a very ferocious offense as well, a very good defense that I feel like a lot of people just don't talk about. So give me the Colts. Following that, we got the Seattle Seahawks taking down the Atlanta Falcons and this is going to be a very interesting game because the Falcons are definitely a very good team. But, like, offensively, they're not that particularly crazy. But their defense is also very, very good. So, but I think I do have the Falcons winning just because the Seahawks defense for the past three weeks have been playing so bad. Yes, you could maybe say that they probably will win this game because they've, only, they've lost three straight. And I don't imagine them losing four straight. But come on, it's the freaking Falcons, so. Sorry. And following that, we got the Houston Texans taking on the Green Bay Packers. Um, Houston Texans have been playing very, very well. Um, it's very good football as of late. But I, I don't think they really have gone against a team like the Green Bay Packers so far this season. Like the Packers, they have been playing very good defensive and offensive football. While the Texans, I have been just playing good offensive football. So that's why I think I'm going to go with the Packers to win here. And also to get the home field advantage. So I think it makes a little more sense. And afterwards, you got the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Cleveland Browns. Um, this is going to be a very interesting game just because, like, the Browns are really known for beating Cincinnati, especially at home. And the well, they just traded a Marty Cooper. Deshaun Watson's still their quarterback. And the Browns don't really have any receivers outside of, like, David Ajoku and Jerry Judy. So, but I think I am going to go with the Browns to win here. I know this sounds a little crazy, but I think their defense is just way too good for the Bengals' offense, and especially their offensive line. So, I think I'm just going to go with that. Then you got the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Giants. And this is actually going to be a very interesting game because the Eagles have kind of just been collapsing as of late. And the Giants have actually been playing okay football as of late. 
and as weird as this sounds, I think I am going to go with the New York Giants to win this game just because the Giants played a little bit better against the Cleveland Browns while the Eagles, they didn't really play that good. So give me the New York Giants. Then we got 305 games. We got the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the LA Rams. And this is going to be another interesting game. I think Cooper Cup is expected to play this game. So that's going to be very interesting to see what this offense can do finally when they actually have a great receiver. And the Raiders just traded Devontae Adams. So really everything is going for the Rams here to win. So give me the Rams. And then following that, we got a pretty ugly game here. We got the Carolina Panthers taking on the Washington Commanders. I think I am going to go with the Commanders here just because I think it's pretty fun off obvious. And then... With the 325 game, we got the Kansas City Chiefs versus San Francisco 49ers, which I'm very surprised to say the least. That um, the San Francisco 40, well, the this game is the only game that's 325, which I think is very surprising. But uh, I think I am going to go with the Chiefs to win this game, even though I think the Niners may be the better team here. I just think the Chiefs are going to find new ways to just beat them. So that's my opinion. Then we got the Sunday night game, which is the New York Jets versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is going to be a very interesting game because this is a more defensive game rather than an offensive game. So because of that reason and that reason alone, I think I am going to go with the Steelers just because they have such a better defense. I know the Jets just got Devontae Adams, but I don't really see that being a big effect in this game. Then we got two Monday night games, uh, which is the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Baltimore but the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is going to be a very interesting game just because, like, the Ravens, they've been playing very good football as of late on offensively, but not defensively. And that's kind of the same thing you could say with the Buccaneers. But I am going to go with the Baltimore Ravens to win this game. I think they have a better offense. I think they have a better defense than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And then the actual quote-unquote Monday night game, we got the L.A. Chargers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. And I think I'm going to go with the LA Chargers to win this game as well. Just because, like, again, their offense and defense, I think, are both better than Arizona's offense and Arizona's atrocious defense that did not play well against the Green Bay Packers. And then also we got a rank of the bye weeks, and I think the Cowboys deserve the bye week the most, and the Bears would be second. There are only two teams with bye weeks this week, so that's why it's pretty short. But Cowboys, well, obviously makes sense because they just got destroyed by... Detroit and then you also got um Chicago so they, they both kind of deserve because Chicago went from London so kind of makes sense but uh I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video peace